Lesson 8 Internet Online Surfing Learning Outcomes Net Surfing Domain Name Netiquette of Internet Communication through Email Cloud Storage Google Drive E-Commerce Online Modes of Payment What is a Blog? Introduction In your previous class, you have learned about Internet Services. Internet services allow us to exchange information like text, image, music, video, etc. Internet is an ocean of information. In this chapter, you will learn how to search information on Internet. Net Surfing Searching for desired information on Internet is called surfing on the Internet or net surfing or web surfing. There are two ways of net surfing. Net surfing using URL. Every page on the internet has a unique address through which it is called. The address of a web page is called the URL Uniform Resource Locator. For example, http colon double slash www.cartoonnetwork.com http colon double slash www.discovery.com http colon double slash www.disney.com http colon double slash www.v3schools.com Steps to open a website using URL Step 1. Start a web browser Internet Explorer Step 2. Enter URL of desired website www.w3schools.com in address box of browser's window. Press Enter key. Home page of website appears. Step 3. Click on the desired hyperlink and collect information. Second, net surfing using search engine. Sometimes we don't remember the URLs of all desired websites. This problem can be sorted using search engines that searches information on Internet on the basis of keywords entered by the user. Some popular search engines are Google, whose web address is http colon double slash www.google.com Yahoo, http colon double slash www.yahoo.com Ask HTTP colon double slash www.ask.com Bing HTTP colon double slash www.bing.com Steps for using search engine Step 1. Go to Google. The Google window appears. In step 2, enter your search term and press enter key or click on Google search, for example, global warming. Step 3. Select the most suitable link to get the relevant information. Domain Name Domain names are used in URLs to identify particular web pages. For example, in the URL http colon double slash www.google.com, the domain name is google.com. The last three letters of the domain provide information about the kind of organization to which the address belongs. The letter addressing system also uses two-letter country code. Some examples of both are given. COM, commercial organization. GOV, government agencies. EDU, educational institutions. ORG, organizations. NET, Network Organizations, MIL, Military, IN, India, CA, Canada, AU, Australia, JP, Japan, US, United States, UK, United Kingdom. Netiquette of Internet The word netiquette is the combination of two words, net and etiquette. Net means internet and etiquette means manners. So, netiquettes are the etiquettes that we must remember while following or using the internet. First, be courteous and respectful to others while sending an email or chatting on internet. 
Don't type in capital letters in mails or chats. It is considered as shouting. Keep personal information private, such as your contact number, bank account numbers and passwords, etc. Don't spread false messages. Verify facts before reposting. Try to be brief while writing messages. Always read before posting. Think before you type. Never use offensive comments while sending an email or chatting on the Internet. Keep a good check on your password and privacy on the Internet. Don't respond to any message that makes you uncomfortable. Use Internet acronyms for communication. For example, use GM for good morning, K for OK, TQ for thank you, etc. Block and report anyone who sends you unwanted or inappropriate messages. Communication through email. Email or electronic mail is an easy way of sending and receiving message from one computer to another anywhere in the world. It is one of the fastest modes of communication. It takes only a few minutes to reach its destination. Advantages of email Email has the following advantages. It is cost-effective and fast. It is reliable and keeps the information safe and secure. Same email message can be sent to more than one person at the same time. Email messages are always easy to locate. Email is eco-friendly as it does not involve papers, envelopes and stamps. Do you know, Sabir Bhatia founded Hotmail.com, the world's first webmail service. He is an Indian businessman. Remember, there are many websites that provide us the platform to use email like www.gmail.com, www.yahoo.com www.redifmail.com and www.hotmail.com Creating an email account To be able to send an email, the first and foremost thing is to sign up on a website and get an email address for yourself. For this you need to have an account on the website that provides the email service. You can create an account by providing the data as asked in the form. Let's follow the steps to create an email account using Gmail, a free email service provided by Google. Step 1. Open the Gmail website www.gmail.com. Step 2. Click on Create Account link. A new page, Create Your Google Account, will appear asking you to fill in information about yourself. Step 3. Enter your first name, last name, username, birthday, gender and mobile number. The username you write will become your Gmail account. It can be your name or a combination of some letters and a number. Do you know, every email account has a unique username? No two persons in the world can have the same email address. Step 4. Enter the password you want to create in the Create a Password field. Enter it again in the Confirm your password field. In Step 5, type the remaining details and click on the Next Step button. Privacy and Terms page appears. Scroll down, left click and agree on the I Agree button. Your Gmail account is created. In Step 6, for opening your Gmail, left-click on Continue to Gmail button. It will take you to the inbox of your email account. Do you know, the minimum age required to have an email account is 13 years? Signing in. For signing into Gmail account, follow these steps. Step 1. Open the Gmail web page. Step 2. Type your username, email ID and click on Next button. A new window appears. In Step 3, enter the password and uncheck the Stay Signed In option before clicking on the Sign In button. Step 4. Click on the Sign In button now. The inbox of your newly opened account will appear with a mail from the Gmail team. Components of an email program 
inbox. This folder keeps a record of all the received emails. Compose. Using this option, you can type the message in the email. Sent mail. This folder keeps a record of all the mails that you have sent. Drafts. This folder keeps a record of all the mails that are waiting to be sent. Spam. This folder keeps a record of all the mails that your mailbox identifies on its own as junk mails. Trash is the folder that keeps a record of all the deleted mails. Composing and sending emails. Composing an email is like writing a letter. It can be formal or informal. For composing an email, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on Compose button on the left pane. A Compose window appears. Step 2. Enter the email address of the receiver in the Tube text box. If you want to send a copy of the same message to some other people, enter their email addresses in CC Carbon Copy field. If you want to send the same message to other people without letting them know the fact that others have also have received the same message, type their address in BCC Blind Carbon Copy field. Step 3. Now type the subject in the subject box. In Step 4, Type the content of your message in the message box. Step 5. Click Send button. Attaching a file. You can send files such as pictures, voice message, videos and other documents as an attachment with your email. To add an attachment, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on Attach Files icon in the Compose window. Open dialog box appears. Step 2. Select the file to attach. In step 3, click the open button, wait while your file is being attached. In step 4, once completed, click on the send button. Your message with the attached file is sent. Replying and forwarding emails. You can reply to the received email messages by following the given steps. Step 1. Open the message which you want to forward or reply. In Step 2, click the Reply link. Type the message and click Send button. Step 3. Click Forward link, enter email address of the receiver and click the Send button. Signing out. After finishing your work, never forget to close your account by clicking Sign out button. Otherwise, some other person can read your emails or send unwanted emails using your email address. Do you know, Google search engine provides many apps to help perform various tasks. Google Apps is a suite of Google applications that brings together essential services, which are very useful for us. Some popular Google Apps are Chrome Search, Handouts, YouTube, Gmail, News, Maps, Books, Blogger, Google Drive, etc. Cloud Storage Google Drive Google Drive is one of the most popular cloud storage services available today. It is a free service from Google where a person can store videos, photos and documents online. It gives 15 GB of free storage space to upload files from your computer and store them in the cloud. You can easily check your files through mobiles, smartphones, tablets, computers, etc. How to use Google Drive To access Google Drive, follow the steps. Step 1. Open Google website. Click on the grid icon near the top right corner of the Google page. Step 2. Click on the Drive icon. The Gmail window appears. In Step 3, enter your email address. In Step 4, enter your password and click on Next button. Step 5. To upload a file, click on New button in the upper left corner. Step 6. Click on File Upload or Folder Upload from the drop-down menu. The open window appears. In Step 7, click on the files you want to upload. In Step 8, click on Open button the files will be uploaded to your Google Drive. 
E-commerce. E-commerce stands for electronic commerce. It is a process of buying and selling anything online. E-commerce includes online shopping, ticket booking, bill payment and so on. Examples of online retailers are Amazon, eBay, Snapdeal, Flipkart, etc. Do you know? Flipkart was founded by Sachin Bansal and Bini Bansal in 2007. The company's headquarters is in Bangaluru, Karnataka. Advantages of e-commerce The advantages of e-commerce are as follows. Faster buying-selling procedure, 24-7 facility. Provides easy access to a vast number of online services. Saves time and energy. Better quality services. Disadvantages of e-commerce The disadvantages of e-commerce are It's unable to examine the product physically. Possibility of fraud. Difficult to return a product that you buy online. Online modes of payment there are a number of ways you can use to pay for a product online. You can either pay in cash at the time of delivery or pay for it online. Online payment involves the use of electronic money, also called e-money. Some of the modes of electronic payment are Credit card Credit card is a small plastic card with a unique number which has a magnetic strip embedded at its back to read its via card readers. It's the easiest form of electronic money that is available and most widely used today. Debit card. Debit card is similar to a credit card with a unique number that is mapped with the bank account number. But unlike a credit card, the money is immediately transferred directly from the card holder's bank account when performing any transaction. Smart card. A smart card, also called chip card or integrated circuit card, is a type of pocket-sized card with microprocessor used typically to perform financial transactions. Net banking. Net banking is also called internet banking, in which there is a facility to the customer to conduct the financial and non-financial transactions from his net banking account. Mobile banking. Mobile banking is a service that enables the customers to perform banking transactions using a cellular device. EFT, Electronic Fund Transfer EFT is a method to transfer money from one bank account to another bank account. Accounts can be in the same bank or in a different bank. EFT can be done using ATM, automated teller machine, a computer, or a smartphone also. What is a blog? A blog or a web blog is a website on which articles are posted regularly and displayed in reverse sequential order, that is, with the most recent entry first. Blog entries can have text, images, links to other web pages, audio, video, etc. A blog usually focuses on a particular area of interest which include travel, food, art, music, education, etc. Some blogs, especially those of celebrities, discuss personal experience. A person who writes contents for a blog is called blogger. Updates put on the blog by blogger are called blog posts. Some popular blogging websites are www.blog.com, www.tumblr.com, www.squarespace.com